find the length of x. So x is this length here, and what we've got here is a right angle triangle here, and then we've got another right angle triangle drawn in here. So this is a two-stage uh, Pythagoras theorem type question. So we've got to remember that Pythagoras theorem only applies to right angled triangles, so you have to use the right angled triangles. So consider the larger triangles. So the larger triangle is that length, that length, and that length. So drawing that out. Now this length here is 6. Why is this 6? Because this length here is 4 and this is 2. So 4 plus 2 makes 6. So this length we've got to consider to be 6. Now if you now write down this is going to call this length here A. You can give it any letter that you want. And this, we've got to find this length here first, and then once we found this length here, we can find the value of x. Hence, this is a two-stage problem. So by Pythagoras' theorem, applying to this triangle here, we're going to have the tetan squared, which is the longest side of the triangle, is going to be equal to 6 squared plus a squared. Remember now that a is going to be one of the smaller sides, so rearranging that, and you can stop the video here and have a go for yourself first if you like. a squared is going to be equal to 10 squared minus 6 squared. All right, because we're finding one of the smaller sides here. Now 10 squared is 100 and 6 squared is 36. 100 minus 36 is 64, which is equal to, a will be equal to the square root of 64, which is 8. So we know this length here is 8 centimeters. One thing to notice that in exams, these diagrams are never drawn to scale. So this is 8 and this is 6, even though it doesn't look like it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to consider the smaller triangle. So the smaller triangle is this one here. It's highlighting it there. Okay, and we know that this length here is 8 centimeters. So now we can apply Pythagoras' theorem to this triangle here. So applying Pythagoras' theorem, and now x is what on, on the longer side, the hypotenuse of the, on the right angle triangle. So x squared is going to be equal to 2 squared plus 8 squared, the largest side of a triangle. So it's going to be equal to 4 plus 64. 2 squared is 4. 8 squared is 64. 4 plus 64 is 68. To find x, we've got to take the square root of 68. And the square root of 68 and your calculator gives you 8.2462 centimetres. You should write down a, a few calculator uh, values and then round it off to three significant figures. So that 6 will make that 4 a 5, so that becomes 8.25 centimetres to three significant figures. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to use Pythagoras' theorem on a two-stage problem. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've understood.